got ourselves a little situation trying to get the airboat out of this lagoon here. We've got uh, a bit of a chain hooked up. We've got the uh, Land Cruiser, the Raptor's pulling out the Land Cruiser, and then the Polaris is in front of the Raptor. So uh, let's hope we can get it out. It's pretty slippery. We've had a bit of rain. All right. Very good, I think that was all the Raptor giving it that, that extra little pull, hey? <sighs> Stuck in the mud. We did it. So, just before we uh, load these crocs, we're just going to get Bit of this green grass and put it on top of that metal deck. It gets quite hot, so this is just to um, protect the belly, and we'll strap them down over the top of that and uh, keep them cool. We've got about, um, we've got about 20, 30 kilometres to go to where we're going to let these guys go back in the uh, big lagoon um, not far from here. Come give us a hand. Come give us a hand, lads. Good time and duck. Oh look, we've got heaps of horsepower where's now. The, uh, where's the uh, tuck that? Yeah, I got to get there without it. Can we pull him, pull him back that way? Pull him back that way. Bit more. Bit more. There we go. Straighten her up. Yep. I've just got a bit of slack here. That's all. Can we go backwards a bit? Oh, you, oh, you're tied on this rope. Oh yeah. No, you won't get any more because this one's tight, this one's loose. Hold it. Jump on that one. Go underneath that rope, that's it. Back a bit on him. See, you haven't got the metal stuck on his head. Move his head this way a little bit. Uh -uh, settle down. That's it. All right, one at a time, bang, 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 head off. Yep. All right, let's travel while it's, uh, we've got them strapped in. Let's go now. Look at the size of this water hole here, this massive big water hole. This is the main channel where these crocs originally come from. They just get out on those floodplains and, and cause a bit of a headache with the cattle. So we get them back in here and uh, they'll stay in here. Look at this, is it, they've even got another little friend out here. You can just see him there skulking around at the front there. There we go, come on, off you go, come on, off you go. Come on, here, come on, look, water here. Oh, there's another little crocodile right there. There you go, off you go, go on. You know, moving these crocs, we're sort of just trying to keep the balance there where these crocs aren't attacking cattle. And um, you don't want to destroy these crocs. We've got a high population of crocodiles here in the Northern Territory. There's a big industry with the um, crocodile farms, good incentive for indigenous. So looking after this breeding population of crocodiles, is very important. So if we can just catch them, put them back into this main lagoon, keep the balance between them attacking cattle and uh, causing a nuisance for themselves and back into their natural environment. It's a, it's a good way to work within the environment and the crocodiles. That's it. It's good working with these little crocodiles. It's even better having a lot of hands to help out. Okay, we're good? Okay. Come on, off you go. There you go. 
There you guys. Come on. There you go. There you go. A lot of life left in that crocodile. Beautiful. Oh, I'll the weight. There we go. Whoa, look out! All right, the lucky last, there it goes. I've still got plenty of energy, and they're in a, a great little spot here, well away from the livestock. Beautiful, job well done. Now we're gonna cook up a feed, and get ourselves a barramundi. The lads wanna grab that esky out of the back of that raptor. It is, it's got these twisty legs. Oh. Hey, it's flat today. It's been a great day. Lads have come out, given us a hand. So we're just gonna have a bit of dinner camp here and then uh, see if we can get one of those big barra. Boys just got a good pig over here earlier as we rocked up, so we're gonna pull that over. I'll take it home for my crocodiles this afternoon. They love a bit of fresh pork. <laughs> All right, how good's that? We just cooked up a great little feed here, dinner camp. We'll have a feed. We'll go see if we get ourselves a barra. Oh. <laughs> Got a horse on here, Matthew. It's like that. Well, Dab is just standing there being polite and waiting for you. And it jumped out of the water and hit his lure on his rod. Yeah, right. Oh, wow. Look at that for a fish. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. First barra Monday. What hey, the hell? That is a nice, no. nice barra. <laughs> I, can't, oh. I can't believe it. Beautiful. It's catch release here too, eh? Yeah, bloody earth it is. <laughs> that is. That's a good fish. That's a great fish, mate. Good work, mate. Good. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Hey, well, those. <laughs> Thanks, that's a poor bird off. Willow's, Willow's caught himself a little bird, a little barra here. Look at that, eh? Beautiful little barra getting around in this freshwater lagoon. Caught one of our biggest crocs here quite a few years ago. He was eating a few cattle, but today we're catching barramundi. There you go, buddy. But not even a hook in it. He's just holding on to it. Lock up when they grab things. So when these birds of prey grab hold of anything, their leg, their talons will lock up over it so they don't lose it. There's times there they catch a prey or a big fish that's too big for them and they uh, can't let it go. They end up drowning with the fish. There we go. It's longer if I open his wings up. <laughs> <laughs> like a bit, like a small fish, push it forward, it looks bigger. <laughs> right now, let him go. There he is. What are you doing going home now? Shit. Oh, sorry. He always stitched me with his bloody leader. He got the longest leader on, didn't he? Yeah, I know. Yeah. We moved him back to another lagoon. We can have a swim in here now. We've got the croc guy here. <laughs> the croc guy, he might have to go for a swim. <laughs> Got a good one. Yes, Willow, how are you travelling, mate? Yeah, it's nice little one here. Oh, look at it go! Oh, yeah. well, we're doing all weekend. Okay. They're look right, they're all the way along here, like. We just put the tinny and paddle up. Yeah. When we uh, came to catch that croc, that was when I saw a lot of the big fish. We were just heading up here where he's pulling that cow down the channel. I was like, oh, well, have you seen like there was just so many big big barra in here. It's the first time we've actually come back to be able to fish it. Oh it's gonna get fished now. <laughs> okay our next heli fishing adventures is gonna be here. If I see you down here blue you're in trouble. <laughs> oh he's on oh oh come up here fingers has a good fish up here Oh, nice jump, mate! Come on, mate. Come on, up here, come. Look at that, hey? Oh, he'd be getting close to it. Look at that. Look, I hooked him. Hey, just a 
Just through the snout. Just through the snout, that one. Just moving in on the spot. <laughs> Tell ya, you find one good fishing spot, yeah. Willow will, I, will, I will <laughs> move in on this. Every, on the everyone spot. will come in. Everyone will come in on it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're right. Look at that. Been sitting around for a while, eh? Beautiful little fish. <laughs> Good fish. All right. All right, guys, don't forget, Million Dollar Barra has started. So you get a chance, get up to the Territory, try your luck getting one of those tagged fish with a million dollars attached to it. Oh, we've got another one on already. 